Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Domesticus channel. Today I'm going to be giving my review of the Creative Outdoors Silver Edition Push-Pull Wagon. Stick around. Dad okay, so we're going to move over to a narration way and my hands are doing weird things right now. I get it, but I wanted to show you this. So here is what the uh, wagon looks like all folded up. You got this little safety latch here that pops open. Then you just pull it out and you have these little flaps on the side and those are what help keep everything stable and all together. And they're actually really well built. This whole thing has a lot of quality put into it. Now, one of my favorite parts about this and part of the reason why my wife and I decided on this one particular wagon, because it does have these safety belts in here for our two kids, which we really like. It also has this cover. I'm going to show you how it works in just a second because you have these little poles on the side. You have to press in the button, take them out of the lock, and they fold all the way up. And then you do that all the way around. Now, one of the things I do and don't like about this is that while they do fold off to the side, um, I wish they would just kind of, you know, fit on down into the pole. Um, but instead, you have to individually bring each one up and over. And then you have the cover here. And the cover is actually very well built. That is one thing I really like about this wagon is that you can just tell the quality all the way around. So once you put the cover over, um, you've got this really nice shade area for the kids. And I've put the kids in this a couple times now. We do this little daily walk with the wagon. And it's really nice. Now, this thing, I want to make sure you know, careful with the kids' fingers on that. Because while our kids don't play around with it too much, I could see that being an issue. Um, if your kids are, are tend to like, go, Hey, what's this? And, and, you know, try, you know, to figure out how far they can put their finger into that. Um, here's the handlebar. Now I'm about five, nine, five, nine and a half with the sandals on. And really the handlebar doesn't go up much more than that. It doesn't extend outward. So you can move it up just a little bit. And that's what I'm about to do right here, but that's about it. So if you're much taller than me, I could see you maybe having a harder time with this than not and having to feel like you have to bend over or you move to the pool, uh, the pool aspect, which is about to. Oh, and there's a nice little lock feature here, which is nice. But again, if you have a longer stride than what I do, and I'm about five, nine, five, nine and a half on a good day, then you're, you might end up kicking that. So now we'll go over here to the pool section. This is also, I realized my video and audio were not syncing up earlier. Um, I always forget how to open up that stupid thing. So it's just pull out, pull down. And um, it's got some extra little safety feet, uh, extra little pockets right here. And the wheels lock on both sides. So those two individual wheels right there as well lock. So you get that, snap that back into place. Now, uh, you have these little extra accessories. So this is built in and it's a little uh, storage compartment, which we've used for like cell phones and things like that. But also we have a little custom built uh, ice cooler that gets that can fit into there, which we're really looking forward to. And I'm actually going to grab the second accessory to all this, which is a little extension to the bottom part. Now, this can be an extra storage uh, section as well, which is kind of nice, but um, and I've got some time to talk because I'm going to fidget with the zipper. A zipper kind of got stuck and I was like, okay, so now I have some time. Um, this is actually a fold, a, a zipper that opens up into the main body of the uh, carriage of the wagon, whatever this thing is. And this allows you to put things in there that are longer than the body by about six, seven inches to stick out. So like, say you have some, uh, I think on the, the screenshots of the advertisement, you had like uh, folding chairs or things like that. You can stick those in and the feet will stick out just a little more into that area. All right. So I'm going to zip this back up. Um, again, while that one zipper stuck, I was really have been surprised by the quality of this wagon. It's been really good um, on our daily walks that we take. And now I'm going to show you just kind of like uh, how this all moves. It really does a good job of turning. Um, the wheels are rubber, which I really appreciate because there's a lot of, of, um, of wags out there that we were looking at that have plastic wheels and they're cheaper, but we just did not want to have something that was, you know, uh, that we're going to hear the wheels all around. All right. So now I'm going to do a quick little breakdown. So you got to take this thing off. You can fold it together with that still on. It just doesn't fold down as tightly as it could. You have a little locks there to put that down, put down the handlebar. And this just, it, the, because the buttons are in the inside, you don't, 
you have to go step by step. Um, fold out or take out the cover. Oh, and here's where I mentioned that they do not fit in. That is not the space for those to fit into. You have to actually push the, pull the um, cover over the, um, the, the little bars right there. So then I'm going to take this out and there's actually a pocket inside of the main uh, carriage part, wagon part that you can put this into. And yes, that is a great bald spot, by the way. I mean, a bald spot, that one is, is well on its way to being complete. So fold all those down and they've got a little lock on them to really keep them in place, which I really appreciate. If they're not going to fold all the way down, I'm glad they didn't just let them hang out. So there we go, folding all those down, locking all those into place. It has you, uh, what's it called? You pull that one pull, take those, release them, and then you, and I'm showing you just rolling it around and clipping it together, and that's it. Really, um, that's how that goes. Pull that handle up, and you can wheel away. Okay, so this is how the two kids look in the Customs Wagon Silver Edition. Charlotte Dottie, how do you like it? Um, good. So we have a four-year-old and a one-year-old, and I think the feet could be arranged a little differently, but I think it works out pretty well. Okay, can you hold that for just a second? Yes, I can. Okay. It's a wagon. Now we're going to put on the top. We'll do a one. Okay, hold on. We'll do a two. Okay, Maddie Maddie's. Okay, Charlotte. We got that one. And then we got that one. Hey, that's looking pretty good. All right, we're going to let go of the brake. And there we go. How does it push? Pretty easy? Yeah, that push is really easy. Grant, we're going downhill. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's go for a walk. Okay, so, kiddos, how are you liking it? Yeah. Do you like it? Is it a lot of fun? Yeah, with no sun. With no sun? Mm hmm. So the belts, so our little girls are tiny and they still got the belt working for them. We've got this cool little backpack area, slash, it came with a custom little cooler to fit. Again, the handles are a little low. And then if I come over here, my wife's pulling, but they got the handle that kind of clips into that yeah. right there. And that works out pretty well. Yeah. Ah, we're in shape now. So I would say so far we're liking it. It is a little, um, because of its design, um, it does not take any incline very well. So if the incline is to the side, yep, that is what comes our house. So if the incline, um, like on the street, we see it bowls over to the side there, um, you really feel it on this thing. But other than that, I think it's really turned out well. Charlotte, do you like it? Yeah, let's go that way. Let's go that way again. I think we're going to go home because it's time to get this little one to bed. She is, she is coming onto the verge of meltdown territory. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching this video. So this was part one because we're about to go on a road trip to California, my family's first real road trip together. Really excited about this. Kind of nervous because it's in the middle of the whole COVID-19 deal and I've got a video that I'll be sharing about why we're going during the COVID-19 pandemic on a road trip to California in a little bit later video. So please subscribe so you can catch that video. If you're catching anything out of this or do you know someone that's looking to buy one of these, can you share this video with them? Or you know, give a, uh, a subscribe or a like if this has been really helpful to you. Leave me a comment on what you have, any, if you have any questions about it, something I need to look out for while I'm on the road. And yeah, I'm excited about this. Keep a heads out, look out for part two which will be after we get back from our road trip. All right, everyone, thank you for tuning in.